Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is George and today we are repairing my broken in impact wrench. This tool fell down from my workbench and broke in half and also the, the tabs for the battery are broken. So let's repair it. For this job I don't need a lot of tools. Just a screwdriver, I use a small electric one, super glue, hot stapler, and also soldering iron. At first, I removed the screws. They are Phillips screws, by the way. Um, I removed it with this small electric screwdriver, uh, which makes everything so easy. Now that all the screws are out, I separate the electric motor from the housing. Naturally, the quality control is watching over my shoulder. I'm kidding, he's my son and he wants to see what I, I did. I needed something to, to hold the two broken parts together for a little while. So I used the super glue. You can use any type of super glue you have. This one happened to be in her home. It's not uh, paid advertising, I just had it. While the super glue cures, I'll uh, dive in and open the package with the uh, hot stapler. I usually don't read uh, the instructions, so let's go to the next step. I put as many staples as I can for uh, rigidity. It's an easy job, but um, it smokes a little bit. Quality control does his job again. At the end, I've trimmed the staples. Now that the first half is, is finished, let's do the second half. To smooth the surfaces, I've used the soldering iron. Makes the job easier. Now it's time to test fit it. Yay! It's working again. It's time to fix the battery holder. For this job I will use two staples.
the battery stays in, I consider overall a success. One month later of using, it still works, everything is okay, didn't broke, it failed again, but it's okay. The repair job is barely visible. Let's finish it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.